Chad here again with Brushfire. We're going to continue setting up our new event using our event creator. As we mentioned in our previous video, we're going to be setting up an event from scratch. So we chose create a new event from the options here. And now let's just click continue to continue on in the process. Now we're going to start to configure a few of the details for our event first being title. We're going to call this our leadership conference. So I'll put that in the title here for the event. And then we choose the event type. So for us, of course, it's going to be conference, but you'll notice here a few common events that you'll see within Brushfire. And then of course, if none of those fit, you'll just select other here. Now, how many people do we expect to attend our event? We're going to say 500 for this event here. And we can, if we so choose, enforce this number as the maximum capacity. If we select yes here, this is going to cut off the registration at the 500th person. So once 500 people register, no one else will be able to register or we can just select no if that's not a concern for us and that's what we're going to do today so no so once five the 500th person registers people will continue to register for this event all right let's choose continue and continue on in the process here we have two options for which best describes our event a specific date and time or an ongoing event an ongoing event, as it says in the description here, is something like a volunteer registration that's not tied to an event necessarily, but it's just something that can you can continually accept registrations for. But for us today, we do have a specific date and time, so that's what we'll select. Now this is where we're going to start configuring our date and time for our event. So we're gonna say that this event is going to start on the 14th of October, at we'll just say at 5 p.m and we will do an ending time and it's completely optional for you to do that but we will for today we're going to say october 15th so this is going to be a two-day conference at we'll say uh let's end at 3 p.m the following day here we can configure our time zone, which is automatically configured to match what you have set up in your Brushfire account. So for me, that's going to be central time. And if we wanted to, just one thing I'll note, we could add multiple dates and times if you wanted to do that for your event. But for us, we don't really care about that right now, so we won't do that. Let's choose continue to continue on in the process. This is where we'll configure our location. It can be at a single location or at an online location or multiple locations. If you have an online event or maybe a multi-site event, this is the option you'll want to choose. But for us, we're going to do a single location and we're going to have this at the Austin Convention Center. And I just happen to know the address for that. So we'll select that there. We can show a map if we wanted to that will give a visual representation of where that conference is. And then we'll choose continue. Now, this is one of the last details that you'll configure in regard to contact information. So if someone, one of your attendees needs to contact somebody, who should they contact? Uh, for us, we're gonna have learn at brushfire.com. If I want to, I can put a phone number or an event website there. Now you'll want to be sure that you put something here that you don't mind being public because this will show up on your event page. So if we wanted to put a phone number here, We'll just put that in right there. Um, this is going to be public. And the way that we know that is we can choose the show updated preview here. And we'll notice that a lot of the information that we put in so far now shows up on this page. So we see our phone number here, an email button, the location, and then of course the title to our event. So that about wraps it up for our details right now. Next, we're gonna move on to the description for our event. So I'll see you in the next video.